Emboldened by recent U.S. Supreme Court decisions and the growing acceptance of Christian nationalism on the right, Texas legislators are pushing more and more religion, right-wing fundamentalist religion specifically, into public life, which includes indoctrinating students. Uh, now, according to the Texas Tribune, who did a deep dive on this, the Texas Senate has recently approved some bills that would require the Ten Commandments to be posted in all public school classrooms and allow unlicensed religious chaplains to supplant the roles of school counselors. So instead of everybody knows and remembers having a school counselor, well, now in Texas, public schools, if you need a school counselor and you need advice, it's going to be of the religious variety. It's going to be the go to church, find Jesus, find God. Now, maybe for some people that might be a comfort, but that has no place in public education at all. Now, there are other efforts underway that, if successful, could also eliminate or weaken two state constitutional amendments that would prohibit direct state support of religious schools and organizations. Now, this movement in the state of Texas is being led by David Barton. Uh, David Barton has been a longtime uh, pseudo, I guess, historian. Um, and he's been someone who's been trying to push uh, faith into, into the public square and has argued that the separation of church and state is a myth. Oh, I've got ancient, I've got ancient texts that will back me up on that. Yeah, nobody cares. You know what we have? We have the Constitution. <laughs> uh, that said, numerous lawmakers have begun to echo Barton's words in the legislative hearings. In fact, here is uh, former state representative Matt Krause, who had testified uh, in favor, of course, of uh, eliminating, the, uh, eliminating that wall uh, between church and state. Quote, we think there can be a restoration of faith in America. And we think getting Ten Commandments on these walls is a great way to do that. We think we can really set a trend for the rest of the country. So putting one specific religion's iconography in schools is a goal they want not just for Texans, but for the entire country. Because, well, I mean, it, they say it, uh, admit, you know, admit it. We want a restoration of faith in America. Uh, you know, just the kind of faith that we want, not anyone else's. Now, there are other politicians like Lieutenant Governor pa uh, Dan Patrick, who uh, have called the United States a, quote, Christian nation. We've heard that also from people like Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, many in the right wing fringe. Uh, Patrick also said, just like Boebert, that there is no separation of church and state, claiming that it's not in the Constitution. Quote, we were a nation of founded upon not the words of our founders, but the words of God, because he wrote the Constitution. What? 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 Wait. Literally, it's in the Bill of Rights. The First Amendment. To the Bill of Rights in the Constitution is the Establishment Clause. And it says the state shall not establish a religion or prohibit the free exercise thereof. Uh, it's pretty clear, but just like the Bible, apparently Lieutenant, uh, sorry, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, uh, I almost called him Lieutenant Dan for some reason. Apologies. <laughs> uh, but Patrick uh, didn't read the Bible, obviously. Or the Constitution. But anyway, um, Thomas Jefferson, uh, who is not God, by the way, famously referred to the First Amendment as creating a wall of separation between church and state. This is while he was president of the United States. You know, one of the founding fathers might actually know uh, a lot about, uh, you know, the Constitution because he actually helped write it. Yeah. yeah. So help, help craft it. Uh, 
But here's the thing. They know this. They don't care because their entire goal is to supplant the Constitution with their specific interpretations of the Bible. Christian nationalism is a move to change this country into a religious theocracy, a Christian theocracy. And unfortunately, there are a lot of Republicans that are totally fine with this. They agree with this, and they don't believe in democracy anymore. There's a disturbing poll here uh, from Public Religion Research Institute back in February. They found that roughly half of Republicans support having an authoritarian leader to maintain Christian dominance in American society. Christian dominance. Hey, authoritarianism, we're in favor of that now. That's what they're saying. Experts is off, uh, have also found correlations between Christian nationalist beliefs and the opposition to immigration, racial justice, and religious diversity. Because, of course, Christian nationalists also have the backing of people with lots and lots of money, very deep pocketed donors who have actually helped uh, candidates who espouse Christian nationalist ideology to win uh, on the state board of elections. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, education uh, and to win seats on local school boards so that they can affect policy on a more localized level. We see this again in Texas, but we also see this in other states as well. The right wing had won a lot of seats on state uh, on, on local school boards. And what have they been doing? Well, they have been trying to push religion and back into the classroom. Prayer. And, and, and there is a big movement here called the Seven Mountain Mandate. Uh, and basically, it, it, it cites the seven different areas of society that the right wing, the religious right has to take over, has to target in order to take over the, uh, the, the entire society for Christianity. One of those mountains is education. And this is what they're doing. Education and, of course, focusing on politics. And they're being helped by politicians like Ted Cruz, Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Greene, but also by institutions like the Supreme Court. Uh, in fact, in 2022's Kennedy versus Breming, uh, Bremerton School District, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a Washington State high school football coach who argued that his religious rights were violated because his employer, which is a public school, sought to limit his practice of prayer in the middle of the football field immediately after football games. The district said, look, uh, you can pray, but just pray at a later time because we don't want it to look like we're endorsing your activities. He refused. They then declined to renew his contract, uh, but the Supreme Court ended up getting involved and the conservative supermajority said that Kennedy's prayers were protected by the First Amendment and rejected the district's contention that allowing the prayers to amounted to an official endorsement of religion. So now, look, I talked about this when it happened. I talked about this case uh, and I talked about the peer pressure. Right. So I try to make the argument, hey, look, um, again, you can do this on your on your spare time. But if you're doing it again in the middle of the game. Well, that's an endorsement, or I should say right at the end of the game, that is an endorsement in front of a lot of people. And what if you're that player who doesn't believe in this stuff? Are you just going to sit that out? Well, you're going to stick out. Maybe get some condemnation from the community. So there's that definite peer pressure to engage in these activities. And so, you know, that's another uh, concern. And if you're a member of another religion, again, or somebody who believes something differently or not or nothing at all, that pressure is still going to be there for you to conform to the rest of them. That's why it's a problem. Um, that said, Texas took that decision as a green light to push for more of this stuff like the Ten Commandments signs in schools. 
And then back in 2021, Texas lawmakers also passed legislation to require uh, that required donated in God we trust signs to be placed in public uh, classrooms. Well, which God? Which God? There's a lot of them. A lot of different ones. Another problem there. Um, well, actually, they made it pretty clear uh, which God. Turns out, mm, turns out, um, there's kind of a funny irony to this because a North Texas school district that had welcomed these In God We Trust signs rejected ones that said the same thing, but in Arabic, that were donated by a local parent. They allowed the English versions that were provided by Patriot Mobile. That uh, Patriot Mobile, by the way, has funded numerous Christian nationalist campaigns in the state, including, of course, getting people that are uh, anti-LGBTQ uh, onto the school board. So, okay, uh, wait. First of all, the Christian God and the Muslim God, it's the same. They just have different prophets, uh, you know. By the way, uh, Jesus is also considered a prophet in the Quran, <laughs> just not the main one. They don't understand that. Um, but again, it's it, yeah, it's not all that shocking that they would be incredibly ignorant when it comes to n- not only uh, other religions, but of course their own, <laughs> the three Abrahamic religions. Uh, actually believe in the same God. This goes by different names. They don't know that. Or they don't care. Um, But anyway, those are just some examples of how it's only their interpretation, their God that they're allowing into the schools, whereas every other faith gets completely shut out. And that is the establishment of religion. And that is against the First Amendment, the Establishment Clause. So look, um, overall, this is just a, a, a little overview of some of the stuff that's going on in Texas. And it's being used as a model for other places, other states across the country. It's concerning. And if you care about the Constitution, if you care about the First Amendment, if you care about, you know, making sure that everyone has uh, not only the free exercise of religion, uh, but also to not have to have a religion forced upon you uh, by the state, um, you should be concerned about this. If you care about LGBTQ rights, combating racism, it's important to fight against this. Because right now what Texas is doing is serving as a laboratory. An example to the country where they're testing out all these different ideas on how to create a theocracy. And if they do manage to get it to get it right, in their words, and figure out a way to take it nationally, they will. <laughs>